I'll put it. We're not actually properly qualified, if you get what I mean. Uh, but we have lots of uh, book experience in, in football. Like, he's played in the um, um, FA Youth Cup. He's um, he's had multiple years of of being a goalkeeper. Obviously, he's played at, at multiple high levels as well. Yeah. And and, and same same thing with me. Um, I lived in Poland for a few years, so um 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 I've worked with a goalkeeping coach for one of the best teams in the first division in Poland. So so he's given me a lot of insight and knowledge about that as well. So yeah. I so I feel like uh, I'm not sure whether that'll be a problem of of, of whether like we need like a you know proof like a, a physical piece of qualification yet yeah, or whether just our experience on, on our portfolios on our website would be enough um it's a good question i think the fa do have courses for goalkeeping i believe yeah i've seen yeah they do yeah so i mean there's not really a specific qualification that you need in terms to do like personal training in, in okay. goalkeeping right yeah if you want to have and gain extra qualifications that's obviously always good because it, not only does it look good for for parents right yeah. that you you work with or clients customers but also helps you to keep up to date with all the latest uh, coaching trends yeah in the industry okay okay but to answer your question there's no specific qualification you need now what oh. i would recommend though is get as much of experience as you can. Yeah. Right? So before I started my business, I already had 10 plus years of experience yeah. working with youth players of all levels. Um, I've worked in different countries as well. Yeah. So once I went through that whole entire stage, then I felt like, you know what? I've done that now. What's the next bit? And the next bit for me personally was to start my own thing because I wanted to train players in the way that I felt could, you know, might using my philosophy of training. Mm -hmm. So that would be my, that would be my only piece of advice for you is just get as much as experience as possible. Yeah. Uh, working with goalkeepers from different ages. And then once you work with goalkeepers of different ages, you'll figure out, right, this is the age group I want to specialize in. Okay. And then that's how pretty much you can start to build your business around. Okay. okay. You might find out, right, I would, I like to work with goalkeepers between the ages of nine to, to 12. Or yeah. I don't like to work with that age group. I want to work with older kids. Yeah. But you're not going to know that until you've got that experience coaching. So number number of things you can do, you can volunteer at clubs. Uh, if you have any coaching qualifications, like level one, yeah. uh, you can go and do some paid work. There's are, there are companies out there that hire coaches with level ones. Okay. Um, so there's a number of ways to do that you can do to get that experience. But I would recommend get as much experience as possible, especially as at the age you're, you're currently at. Yeah. And then once you've done it all, you've worked with all the age groups, then you can sit down and say, right, okay. What age groups do I enjoy most? Yeah. Okay. Because at the end of the day, a business is the way I see it, a business is for you to enjoy. You got to enjoy working yeah, with your customers. Definitely. Yeah. So I agree. if you're building a business around an age group that you hate working with, then mm -hmm. you're not going to be in business for very long. Yeah, definitely.